So we have some good news. Um, so as of January 1st, calls made in California by prisoners are free, which is really awesome be, for two reasons. One, it's kind of ridiculous that we charge people to make phone calls in prisons at all. Um, and two, because it used to be very expensive. And how expensive are we talking? So 15-minute um, calls used to be $5. Now, think about think about back to when the last time you used a payphone. You probably can't remember the last time you used a payphone is because it's probably been a really long time. I do not think I have ever used a payphone in my entire life, ever. And I'm almost 30. I cannot possibly imagine having to pay for a phone call other than like, you know, through a, a cell phone or phone plan. These are systems where we essentially, as the government essentially decided that we didn't want to deal with it. So we were going to give it to a private corporation. Well, what do you think was going to happen when we give it to a private corporation? Corporations need to make profits and they need to make more profits than they made last time or last year or whatever, or last quarter. And so the price of phone calls was going to go up and up and up and up and up and up and up. And so California passing a law saying, hey, actually, you, you can't do this. You, you have to allow the people to make phone calls for free is absolutely amazing. And not only because it makes their lives easier, but prison isolates people from their support networks, right? And and there's, there's a lot of things wrong with how we do prison in the US. And I'm not gonna really spend this segment going through all those things, it's a long list. But when you isolate people from their networks, when you isolate people from society and don't give them the bonds necessary to kind of come back in properly, um, then they're more likely to end up back in prison in the first place, right? If you maintain healthy relationships with people outside of prison, you are probably less likely to go back to prison. Now, I don't have the numbers to back that up, but if you think about it from a logical perspective, right, it's easier to avoid the type of bad relationships that you would form in prison if you have positive relationships on the outside. But also prisoners aren't making a ton of money. In fact, a lot of prisoners work for free or for very little money. So telling telling someone who makes like a dollar a day that a 15 minute phone call with their loved one is $5, you have to work a week to make a phone call. And then that's it. There's nothing else you can do with that. There's nothing else you can do because all your money's gone. I mean, the, the system is just so incredibly absurd. So anyway, California is one of the largest states. It's like the fifth largest economy in the world or the fourth largest. I forget what the official number is, but this is excellent. And, and, and you know, there's this habit that in the United States that, you know, as, as goes California, goes the rest of the country in terms of kind of innovations in state law. So I'm actually hoping that this is one of those that catches on. Um, I would like to see, uh, I, I would like to see for major, uh, for states with large prison populations to, to make this the case, it's essentially out of business. Um, these, these big corporations who profit off the misery of prisoners, you know, it would just be one way to move our absolutely barbaric prison system forward and just, just help people, right? It's so infrequently that we just get good news, um, unadulterated good news like this. And so I'm so thrilled that, um, you know, that these, these incarcerated folks are going to be able to make these phone calls for free. Um, again, I think there is way more benefit than just the financial benefit, right? I think people are really going to do better um, mentally. They're going to be better prepared to go back into the outside um, in some ways because they've been able to maintain those relationships. So this is very exciting. Um, you know, here's hoping that like New York and Texas and some of the other larger states are next. Uh, obviously, we don't know for sure, but it would be really awesome if they could be. Um, you should not have to pay money to make a phone call in a prison. That There is enough misery in our prisons as is. Why would you add this to it? And, and by the way, there's a lot of things in prisons that are privatized, including some prisons themselves. So I, I guess the way I want to end this is 
Um, nothing about our criminal justice system should be privatized ever. Um, the incentives are ass backwards. There is no good reason whatsoever to privatize these items. There is no reason that we should allow corporate corporations to profit off the misery of people we were trying to rehabilitate for our society, that we're trying to be able to pay them debts to society, not make them literal slaves to corporations. Um, it's disgusting that this isn't, um, you know, that we have privatized anything in prisons, let alone privatized prisons, but this is this is one step in the right direction. And I'm super excited that California has gone ahead and done this. And, you know, here's hoping that other states adapt the same measure. That would be really awesome. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, throw a like on it, share with your friends, and subscribe for more of our content. You can also find all of our videos and clips on youtube.com. Just search Let Them Eat Bread and you'll find all of our content. All right, guys, see you next time. Bye for now.